Yes, people, I hope you are fucking well. I hope life's good, I hope everything's good. Um, so, today's video, do you know like I'm normally like talking like deep subjects, serious subjects, you probably think I'm just fucking like deep and serious all the time, but normally I'm just doing chat and shit, but I've just got, you know, everyone doesn't it, you got deep sides to you. I always feel like the deep shit will like help people more. But today I'm just not in a deep mood at all. I'm not in a motivational mood. I'm just in a mood where I just want to chat shit, have a laugh and enjoy life. So I spent like, I don't know how long earlier. Well, I got for a whole box of tissues. The guy left like five boxes of tissues, but I got for a whole box earlier. This one's almost gone as well. By trying to pull one of these out without getting the other one out, if that makes sense. And it's just, I think it's impossible like that. It's really fucking me off. So everyone's talking about paper shortage and fucking the trees getting knocked down or who's doing it. And it's me wasting the tissue. Um, but yeah, today's video, we are not doing um, any like, oh, do this, do that. We're just talking about the, the bollocks in the fitness industry, the myths, the people that chat shit. And um, we're just going to go over all of that. Fitness industry is a weird old place. You get some proper nice people in it. You get some absolute... Bellens, you get some weirdos. Same as everything, really, but I just notice it a lot in the fitness industry. But we're going to go over the myths and shit. But firstly, we are going to play my favourite game, which is how much caffeine can you consume without having a fucking heart attack? And today we will find out. Oh, fucking touch wood, I don't actually imagine. I see some thing the other day about some girl on TikTok who posted a TikTok saying about how um, everyone says she's a bad driver, but she's never had a crash. And then she died a few days later, and everyone's like resharing it, like, oh, this is so sad and stuff. So I take that back. I don't wanna fucking, like, po no, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna talk about it. You know what I'm getting at, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Um, stay healthy, big boy. But yeah, let's get some coffee in us, get some caffeine in us, and I'm stuck between what gym to train at today. Don't know where to go train, don't know where to go banoos. What hard life is. Do you not find it weird how your mindset can just change, that like you can be a different person every day kind of thing? Like some days I wake up and I read a quote and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking loving that quote. Like I'm reading a book and I'm like, I'm loving it, taking in all knowledge, I'm like loving all this deep shit. And other days I'm like, shut up. Like someone says a quote to me, I'm like, fuck off. Like today I will not read a single book, I will not listen to any podcast, I will not read any quotes, I just want a fucking viable day, do you know what I mean? Bit of music on all day, like I do have bangers on 24 seven, but obviously can't have them on because YouTube copyright and stuff. And yeah, yeah, I just find it weird like how you can just be in different moods different days. Like some days you just proper wanna get deep in stuff, deep in thought, and other days you just couldn't think of anything worse. Today's all about the vibes, about the, the caffeine, the music, the big boy gym sesh. I can feel today's gym sesh is gonna be unreal. You know the ones you just, fucking know it so yeah it's gonna be a good good day so the cab driver that took me home from the gym goes are oh, you a photographer and i was like no i'm just making youtube videos so he pulls over facetimes his family in pakistan and they're passing his phone around and he's like he's told them that i'm a youtuber from london and they're all going oh my god oh. Like they're getting absolutely buzzing and they just kept non-stop saying thank you and i'm like that's all right, that's all right. And then they kept asking for my YouTube name. And I'm thinking, oh my God, when they see I've got fucking two subscribers get two views, they're gonna be so disappointed. So I actually need to make sure that I actually get some fucking subscribers and views on here because they just would not stop saying thank you. Like they were going, like, thank you, so good to meet you, so good to meet you. It's all they kept saying. And like, I'd be like, oh, like, it's all right kind of thing. And they just kept repeating it. So like, oh, coffee, you're drilling. And um, they just kept repeating it nonstop. And I feel awful, I feel like such a disappointment. And so number one is for the girl them. You know, them girls, yeah, I see a lot of you doing this as well. You're on the stair machine and you're doing this. Ladies, 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 ladies. Look, that is not gonna grow your glutes. That is not what we are looking for. You might get a cheeky little uh, glute pump, but you wanna actually be working your fucking glutes. Just, like, don't be scared, to, like you're gonna accidentally just randomly get fucking huge. It takes intentional years of effort to randomly get huge. So don't be scared to lift weights. If you wanna build your glutes, you're gonna have to lift some heavy weights. You see, like some absolute boss girls in the gym, hip thrusting a shit ton, squatting. 
So yeah, stop, stop all that malarkey and fucking get on the weights. Number two is, do you know when people cut in, they're like, right, let's just get the fucking lightest weight in here and just rep that as much as possible. Don't be doing that. Your training does not have to change when you go on a cut. You wanna be trying to be as strong as possible still. You're trying to hold on to that muscle. You're fighting for that muscle, so don't lower the weight. Give everything you can to hit the same weight, hit the same reps. Number three, this one is another frustrating one which I have to bring up in conversation a lot. I hear a lot of people go, well, I've got quite a lot of body fat, but it's all right because I'm gonna turn it into muscle. You cannot turn fat into muscle. I don't know where this come from, where you heard it from. You can't just fucking start training, uh, doing some weight training, your fat's gonna turn into muscle. You have to lose the fat and build the muscle two very separate things so if you are high body fat don't think right i'm gonna fucking turn this fat into muscle it's all good you're gonna have to lose that fat and then build the muscle number four you can do all the ab workouts in the world if you are not low body enough and uh, low body fat enough if you've got too much body fat is what i'm trying to say you're not going to be able to see those abs but honestly, I fucking love an ab workout, so don't think, oh, I just won't do them. It gives you that thick 3D look, and when you are a little bit higher body fat, you'll be able to see the abs quicker than you would if, if you didn't train your abs, if that makes sense? Because think, they're like popping out, so the thicker they are, um, the, I can't fucking speak, the thicker they are, the higher body fat, you still be able to see them, but you need to still be low body fat to be able to see them. I've made this point so fucking confusing that there's no point in me even just saying one. Basically, you need to be lean to be able to see your abs. It doesn't matter how many ab workouts you do, you need to be low body fat. Number five, toned is not a thing. You hear people say, oh, I'm just going to tone up. I'm gonna get this tone, fucking tone this, tone that. I'm training for toneness. Toned is not a thing. I'm pretty sure it was a myth made by Vogue. I'm sure it was, I remember hearing that a while ago, might be wrong, I read it somewhere. But toned is basically just the appearance of being low body fat and building muscle, so you can't train to be toned. You can lose body fat and you can build muscle, that will give you the toned appearance, but toned isn't a thing, like you can't do a certain thing which is gonna tone the muscle. So yeah, lose body fat, build muscle, stop using the fucking word tone. Number six, oh, I fucking forgot it, what was it? I can't remember. I'll just come up with another one anyway. Um, you're not gonna accidentally get too big. I see a lot of girls say this and a lot of a geezers say it as well. They're like, yeah, I don't wanna get too big. Uh, I don't wanna get too big. You can't just accidentally get too big. It takes fucking forever. Like, and if you look at someone who is big, they're more likely enhanced. Like naturally, you've got your limitations. And I'd say naturally you can build a physique which people perceive as like, oh, he's in really good shape. When you get that too big look, that comes from being on steroids or training for like 15 plus years, intentionally smashing a shit ton of food down you. So yeah, you're not gonna accidentally get too big by lifting weights. Same for the girls. You're not thinking if you start bicep curling that you're just gonna randomly get too big. It's not gonna happen. So yeah, do not stress. Enjoy your weights. You ain't gonna randomly get too big. <laughs> it landed on top of the camera. I was gonna try and show you, but it's obviously impossible for that. But you're literally, the tissue is on the camera. Okay, yeah, let me video this. I'll take a picture and I'll just insert it. Um, number seven, fasted cardio. People were like, yeah, if I train before eating, it's gonna fucking target this fat store, this, that, the other. Not true, it doesn't have any like positive effect. I'd, I'd still recommend it to be fair, I just think it's quite good. You get home, you can have your breakfast, it's quite a good feeling. So I'd recommend it for that reason. But yeah, it's not gonna like target any extra fat or any of that kind of stuff. That is a myth, I'm afraid. Number eight. You cannot target a certain area to lose body fat. Like you can't be like, oh, I'm gonna do this exercise because it targets my arm fat. I'm gonna do this exercise because it targets my leg fat. You lose body fat from top to bottom. So just lose your weight. And in general, it's gonna slowly just start to peel everything off. That's why you know when someone gets a six pack, the first few come through, then they just slowly come through. So yeah, you can't target a certain area for fat loss. But there is probably a shit ton more I could go through. There's loads of myths in fitness. Um, but yeah, that's the ones I'm giving you. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Enjoy your day. Fucking yeah. Um, new video every Sunday and Wednesday, 6.30.